welcome to the first craft session of this year's holiday club, The Heart of a King. I wonder, when you think of a king, what comes to mind? What do you think a king needs? I'm not so sure exactly what a king needs, but what I do know is when I think of a king, I think of a king with a crown. And that is exactly what we are going to make today. Here's what you need. Two sheets of paper. I have white paper. This is paper that I can colour in and decorate, but you may have coloured paper or patterned paper, lined paper. Whatever you want to use, bring two sheets along. I also have some sticky tape. This is what I'm using for the activity today, but if you do not have sticky tape, you could also use glue. This is a glue stick. So something to stick your paper together. You will also need scissors to cut. And if you're going to decorate your paper, you will need something like pens, crayons or pencils. I've chosen colouring pens and I've selected yellow for the gold of the crown and for the precious stones, blue for sapphire, red for rubies and green for emeralds. So I have four colours but you can choose whatever you want. We also need to have a pencil. And this pencil is going to be drawing straight lines and making sure that our points of the crown are equal. Well, I couldn't find a ruler, so we are going to make something to do lines. And that's called my long and strong piece of paper. See, it's quite strong. And it's great for drawing straight lines. So we're going to make one of these first. I'm going to put these things aside and we're going to make our long and strong piece of paper. And you can even give it the tap test at the end to make sure it's long and strong. I assure you, you will have it in no time. Here we are. So for your long and strong piece of paper, take your paper, long edge to long edge and fold it in half. Okay, I'm going to put it on the desk because it's much easier to fold on the desk. Make sure you match your lines, the edge of the paper, as close as possible. And then once you've done that, fold it, press it in, to make a really strong crease, okay? And then open it up and you'll find this line here. Take this long edge and fold it into the middle but not crossing over this line, okay? So you're gonna take it to the middle. Don't cross over the line but as close to the line as you can and then press it down like that. Now see, I've not got it all the way down there. But that's okay, it doesn't have to be perfect, it just has to be long and strong and straight. Do the same on the other side. So we're going to fold this in. That's it, make sure you press it in, strong lines. Okay, so now you have two folds and then you can fold this on top. Okay, and then this crease at the top that you've just folded in the middle, you're going to take that and you're going to fold it down to match the other side. So line it up with the other side. I'm going to do it on the desk because it's so much easier. On, on the side there and just press it down, okay? Rub your fingers across it a few times and there you have it. Grab your pencil, do your test, and you have a long and strong piece of paper. 
and this will do your straight lines that is needed for any of the activities that we're going to do for the rest of this week. So now you've got your long and strong piece of paper and you've done your test, put it to the side because we're going to make the crown now. Take your sheet of paper, long edge to long edge and fold in half. Okay, so I'm just going to line up, get it as close to the edge as possible and then fold and press in at the crease to give it a strong edge. Open it up and cut along this line here to give you two strips of paper. Let's take the scissors and cut along this line. And these two sections are going to give you the length you need to make the crown. Okay. So you now have two strips of paper. With this piece of paper, long edge to long edge, exactly the same, fold in half. Okay, so fold it in half. Like that. Crease along the line. And take your second sheet of paper and do exactly the same. So long edge to long edge, fold in half. And again, I'm going to have to put it on my desk. It's very difficult to do if you don't have something to lean on. But there you are. So you now have two strips of folded paper. If you open up one of your strips and just place it over the first piece you'll see that you've got a long strip of paper now and this is the band of your crown. So I'm going to put that down on the table and I've got some sticky tape here and I'm going to put the sticky tape just at the join. So I'm going to show you that now. Okay, so I've stuck that together and just to make it really secure, I'm going to open it up this one here, there we are, and I'm going to stick this bit down onto the one underneath, so here. Okay, and now you can see that that is not going anywhere, so you've got a long folded strip now. Okay, time for the measuring. You are going to measure the distance of the points on your crown with your fingers. So three fingers. You take your fingers, I'm going to write with my right hand, so I take the fingers on my other hand and I put it down on the edge of the paper. And at the end of the third finger, I do a little dot. Use your pencil, but I'm going to use a pen just so that you can see it in this video. The pencil won't show up. Okay, so you use a pencil, I'll use a pen. Now you can see that the width of three fingers there has given me my first marker. You then move your fingers along at the start of the point that you've just made and you do another mark at the end of your third finger. So I'm going to do that now. You do it along with me. So now you can see that I have two points and I do the same and another point and I do the same and another point and continue all the way to the end. So I'm going to do this quicker now. You do yours and then we'll catch up once I've got all the dots in place. Okay, so that's my fifth dot now. Sixth, seventh, Eight, nine, ten, eleven. Now I've got eleven dots along my strip of paper, but you might get more or less depending on how big your fingers are. Okay, the most important thing is that they're of equal distance. So that's it there. If this video goes too far ahead, just press pause and then when you catch up, 
put it onto play again, and then we can do it together bit by bit. Now it's time for you to draw your straight line along the base of the crown. So I'm going to take my long and strong piece of paper and I'm going to put it about halfway doesn't have to be perfect but about halfway and I'm going to draw a line along here okay so it's going to have to be done in two sections because this is so long so I draw a line from one edge of the crown to the other you can see that I've done it there and then I just take my long and strong piece of paper I measure up again and I do the line all the way to the end okay so just going to finish off here how are you getting on this is all the preparation to make the perfect crown perfect crown doesn't come easy you know so now you should have a line and all your markers from your fingers along the top okay now what you're going to do is every second marker okay you're going to draw a line down so take your long and strong piece of paper and on your second marker draw a line down and do the same for the fourth the sixth all the way to the end okay i will show you once it's complete so you can see what it looks like so it should come up as a pattern line dot line dot line dot line dot and as you can see have okay take your scissors and cut along the line each one to the line underneath okay so it's all got perfect measurements so i've got the scissors and now i'm going to cut down and i'm going to do that for each one okay Try not to go over the line that you've drawn at the bottom or stay as close to it as you can. Now that's all the preparation done and now we're going to make the top of the crown. These perfect pointed sections. Okay, so now we're going to take our long and strong piece of paper to do the edges of the point of the crown. So the dot is the point of the crown and you're going to draw down to the edge of the line and you're going to go up to the dot and down to the bottom of the line. So I'm going to do that here just now and then I'll show you once I've done two points. Okay, so taking my long and strong piece of paper, I go from the bottom of the line to the top of the dot. And I'll do that again. And then we can compare what you've got with what I've got. So the points of the crown are where the dots are. So I'm going to have a point here, a point here, a point here, and a point here. Okay, so continue all the way along to get the points of your crown. And then once you've done that, you're going to fold along these lines to give you a strong crown, top to bottom. Okay, so this is a time when I should be saying, here's one I did earlier. There we are. Okay, so just draw along each part. There we are, almost done. And there you are. So you can see that I've got all the points of my crown. Now, take 
this piece of paper and fold along the line that you have drawn. Okay, so I'm going to fold here and I'm going to fold here. I'm going to fold here and I'm going to fold here. Okay. And I'm going to continue folding along these lines all the way to the end. So if you start folding yours as well, there we are. And try and keep it as close to the line that you've drawn as possible. Okay, I'm just going to quicken up now. There we are. Almost there. I've got three more folds. And so I've got my crown folded over and then at each section I'm going to secure them down with sellotape. You might want to use glue if that's what you've got, but we're going to take these parts down here, okay? So I've got some sellotape here, which is stuck to my table. There we are, and I'm just going to stick each section down. And once you've finished sticking each section down, you have the perfect crown to decorate. So add your colour, design it in whichever way you would like to. And then once you've finished, take this point here at the beginning and this one at the end. Join them up to meet with the point in the middle and secure with a piece of tape or glue on the inside and the outside. So I'm going to put one on the outside and one on the inside here. And you will have the perfect crown fit for a king or a queen. Do remember to bring them along to the next video where they will be turning up in the storytelling session. Look forward to seeing you. Bye for now. A long, long time ago, the people of Israel demanded to have a king. Bring your crown and listen as we journey through a time of giants, lions and bears. The question is, are you brave enough?